In this next episode of Nail School, I'm gonna show you three easy gel art techniques that's going to help you make way more money in the salon. In this first design, I'm gonna show you how to take Clear Sculptor and the Precision Applicator to mix a custom glitter gel that you're gonna be able to fade perfectly into each other. Watch how easy this is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tile, we're going to take Clear Sculptor, and the best part about this is how easy it is going to be for me to dispense the right amount. So I'm going to squeeze out a nice amount here, I'm going to squeeze out a nice amount on this tile, and what this is going to do is give me enough space to apply my glitter. So the first glitter mix, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take Royal Red, and I'm just going to apply that over the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Jet Black, and we're going to mix that into this one. Now just to give it a little bit of bling, I'm going to take Diamond Dust, and what we're going to do is just lightly sprinkle it over the surface. This is just going to add a really killer effect to it. Once we have done that, we're going to take our mixing spatula and the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of push it in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our mixing spatula and just really get a really good blend. This is going to mix it. I'm just working from side to side. Then I could use the edge to scrape it all up. I'm gonna do the same thing to Jet Black. I'm gonna push it in and then I'm going to start working it from side to side. And what this is going to do, it's gonna disperse the glitter really well into the gel. I'm going to compress it all the way in. And then as soon as I have it fully compressed, I'm going to take the edge of the spatula and scoop that up. This is a way that you're going to be able to make some really pretty custom glitter gels. The easiest way for you to be able to sculpt a really well glitter fade is we're going to take our form and we're going to put it on the finger. And what I want to be able to do once we get the form on, I want to be able to establish a really thin, flush, clear free edge. And there is no easier way to do that than with the precision applicator tube. Okay, so what we're going to do once we have our form on is I'm just going to take the tube, as you can see, and lightly squeeze it out to the edge. Now the best part is, is once it's attached, all I have to do is continue to squeeze to the desired length that I want. So we're not going to do anything too crazy. We're going to do something that's quite active. Once we've established a nice free edge, we're going to get that inside the light and freeze it into shape to establish a really nice, thin, clear tip. So what we wanna to do to prevent you from actually tearing that clear free edge off is to apply a nice, thin layer of Synergy Base Gel and cure that for a minimum of 60 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a really, really nice amount on my brush, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush it on thin like polish. Nice even coat from cuticle over the top. And let's get that inside the light for a minimum of 60 seconds. Okay, now to ensure that you're not going to tear it off, what you want to be able to do is use the pointed edge of the magic wand to get underneath the form and the tip. What I like to do is start from the front. As you can see, I could separate it from the edge and I could separate it from the other side as well. And what that's going to do is basically going to release it. I'm going to pinch from the front and I'm going to slide it down and you're going to notice that when I remove it, I have a really nice transparent tip for me to build the glitter on top of. This is also going to be nice and flush to the natural nail. The reason why I want to build a clear tip is so that I get a good cure from the top as well as the bottom. I'm going to start with the red and we're going to pick it up and we're gonna start from the very, very front. And as you can see, I'm floating it on. So all I'm doing is I'm keeping contact with the surface as I'm building this all the way to the edge keeping really, really nice, light, floating contact all the way to the very, very edge. 
doesn't matter if we get on top but what I like to do again is to make it nice and even all I want to be able to do is lightly float my brush okay and then what we're going to do is I'm just gonna get the excess off and I'm just going to lightly again you can see with the tip of my brush I'm just going to lightly feather it into the body to make it nice and even nice and smooth let's go ahead and get that inside the light and freeze it into shape and get ready for the next color So I want to be able to show you guys something from the side profile. Do you see how thin the glitter is? This is pretty much flush to the natural nail. This is going to be really easy for you to take the second color and add it right here and fade it not only into the natural nail, but into the existing color that you have so that it makes a perfect ombre. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take a really small bead of gel and what I want to be able to do is set it right in between those two areas. I'm just going to work it from side to side, just like this. We don't need a heavy amount, really, really small amount. I'm gonna clean my brush on the tile, and then you're gonna notice right here from the front, I'm just going to lightly pull that into the red so that it looks like it's blending into the red. And then what I wanna do from the back is I'm just going to lightly start pulling this so that you can start to see it fade into the natural nail. It almost looks like I have little shooting stars that are going up into the body. This is how you're going to establish a perfect ombre with two colors of glitter. We're going to get this inside the light again and freeze it into shape and this is going to set me up so that I can overlay it with the clear sculptor. Once the glitter is frozen into place, you're going to be able to take your clear sculptor and the precision applicator tubes and overlay it in order for you to encase the design. This is not only going to encase it, but it's going to give it the necessary strength so the nails are going to be able to last for weeks. see the glitter exploding cool okay let me just go ahead and freeze that into shape once the fade has been overlaid we're going to get inside the lamp and cure it for 60 seconds once it's done we're going to file and finish it you're going to see how awesome it looks This next gel design is super easy to do. This design is a marbling technique in order to create the perfect flame effect. Let me show you how easy this design is to execute. So what I've done is I've file finished the nail and I've applied a coat of protein bond over the surface so that the gel doesn't chip away. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice even coat of gloss gel and I'm going to apply a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge. You don't have to worry about it being perfect because we're going to end up coating it with a top gel. So once we actually have that on, while this is wet is when you want to be able to take the colors from Mission Control and layer it in. We're going to take solar, power up, and molten and we're going to use the micro detailer to lay in the lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take molten and I'm just going to put a line this way I'm going to take I'm going to take solar and I'm just going to put a line this way I'm going to take power up and again I'm just taking a nice amount and I'm just dragging it across I'm going to do the same thing with solar right through here. Again, a little bit of molten right through here. Power up right through here. And, and, and again, the reason why we want to do this with the gloss is so that it's extremely easy to drag through. Now, you're going to notice as soon as I have all my lines set, all right, I just again, you can see that. I've, I've laid them in horizontally. Watch this. 
I'm going to take my brush and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag through to create the flame effect. What I can end up doing is dragging up and all the way through. And as you can see, what we're going to be able to create is this really beautiful flame effect. Once we've dragged through the gel, we're gonna set this inside the light. It's gonna freeze it in the perfect form and get you ready to top it. This last gel art technique is really easy to execute. I'm gonna show you how to take two colors and with your brush, you're going to be able to create the perfect ombre, the perfect blend between both of them. Okay, so what we wanna be able to do is we wanna be able to take the two colors. I'm going to take Sonic and Mega Jam and what we wanna be able to do is place it on a tile. So I'm just going to put a thin amount here and we're going to take the second color and we're going to place it right next to it, okay? So what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is take your brush and I'm gonna show you guys how to get color on both ends at the same time so that when you apply it, it goes on perfect. Okay, so what I wanna be able to do is you can see with my brush, I'm going to take this color and I'm going to pick it up on this side right here. And then what I wanna be able to do is I'm going to pick it up on this side right here. So you can see that I actually have two colors. You can see how the color is evenly divided amongst both sides of the brush. So the advantage of doing this is you're going to see an even division between both colors on the surface of the nail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set this down and as I brush it through, you're going to notice that the colors are going to blend well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically take the excess off my brush and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna this time get a little bit on one side as you can see and as I turn it over, what I'm actually able to do is I'm actually able to work just this color on this side. So this is gonna be the first coat, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush on the opposite side. You can see how I'm picking up the Mega Jam. And then I'm gonna work the opposite side from the center and as I go down, you can see how well it actually blends in. This is an awesome way for you to be able to create the perfect ombre. Once that is done, all I'm going to do is continue to work down the center and you're going to see it blend in absolutely perfect. This is an incredible way for you to create an ombre without spending too much time. We're gonna get it inside the light and freeze it for a minimum of 30 seconds. The best part about creating this ombre with this two color effect is you're gonna be able to add all kinds of detail to the surface to make a real custom look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both colors and I'm just gonna line the middle so that you guys can see how cool the effect is. Just going to just right through the center. The best part about the micro detailer is I'm just going to be able to drag all the way to the tip, just like this. And then what I wanna be able to do is I'm gonna take the same thing with Mega Jam. I'm gonna start from the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to line this all the way to the top. And I'm gonna join it right in the middle. Just like that. Once the design is set, we're gonna get it inside the light cure for a minimum of 30 seconds. We're gonna file finish the nails that need to be done, apply top coat to the nails that need to be capped, and you're going to see how easy these gel designs are. Mm -hmm.